Are you looking for ways to bring your team together and orchestrate your business processes while your team is working remotely? Okay, today I will show you how you can do it using formal dashboard and how you can orchestrate your business processes and let your team be on board about whatever that's changing in your business. And as your team grows, you can keep it and maintain it as it is. So let's get started. I will show you how you can start with Formula Dashboard. Just uh, here you will have access to any folders. You can create folders. Let's create a folder for team management. You can change this color as you wish. And uh, getting into your folder, you can add new folders here uh, or create forms. Let's create a form, get to the templates. Here you have different templates uh, for your requirements. And you can choose any of them. We also have a category for remote working. And by clicking on it, you will see different uh, options for ready to use templates. I want to show you how you can create a leadership evaluation form. So uh, here, by clicking on demo, you can see the template and you can see what questions it has. Uh, let's pick the template and start to edit it. So I'll change the um, title and uh, you can change the questions by clicking on each of them uh, there are many options for each of them yeah you can delete them duplicate them but uh, there are many fields you can add to your form you just have to drag and drop them to the place you want to and uh, you can change the submit button text or the success message after the submit and you can add images here, change the colors, etc. And uh, yeah, let's save the form and see uh, the changes. Yeah, this is how it looks. You can change the appearance as well uh, by going back to the form here in the appearance tab. You can add background image, add shadow on top of the background. So it looks some kind of um, uh, different um, look. You can uh, choose from the color themes and choose each color as you wish right here. So uh, let's uh, not save it, we refresh the page. And this is our form. Uh, it's a leadership evaluation form. It helps, you, uh, it, it helps you ask your team to evaluate the leadership in your team and you know, get feedback from them. And uh, it's a very powerful tool to um, let your team know that uh, you care about their feedback and you care uh, that they are uh, important in your team and um, you need to uh, grow your leadership. So uh, yeah, I didn't uh, put it in my um, team management. So I will just drag it and drop it to uh, my team management folder. And here it is. And uh, you can uh, share access uh, to this form or folder uh, by just uh, clicking on the form and um, giving access to their email. And it's that easy. So I want to create a daily meeting form here. I will, I can uh, choose from templates here by searching in templates, uh, search for daily and here are different templates. Let's pick the uh, daily stand-up meeting. And it's just by clicking on the pick the uh, template, you will have your form ready. And there are the three usual ask questions um, they should answer daily. And it's that easy. So you can uh, change your form type from single page to multi-step, uh, single step or rigid type. Uh, it it is, is based on your requirements. It's uh, from the appearance tab. And this is how it looks this way. And yeah, so you can let your submitters to receive an email for each of their responses, which is a cool option here. And you can change the, the URL of your form to something like daily meeting or whatever you need. And uh, yes, yeah, that easy. Yeah, here I have my two um, templates. You can also create employee engagement or different games uh, in your folder. So these are um, 
the forms or surveys or tools that help you to engage your team, a remote team, basically, to um, be on board and um, give feedback, receive feedback, and communicate with each other. You can also automate your uh, notifications. By getting to uh, clicking on each form, you will have integrations and webhook. And for example, you want to uh, send a message to your Slack channel. It's just uh, that easy by clicking on this app. You can connect your uh, form to your Slack channel and receive a message in your uh, Slack channel as soon as a form is submitted. Uh, or you can add different uh, conditions on it based on your needs. So yeah, here you can do it and uh, you can also share your form on your website or uh, other places uh, by using a script or iframe or widget, uh, which just looks like this. Uh, it's like a chat box and it will be added to your website. So yeah, uh, this is basically how it works. You can also use the presentation mode. It's uh, very cool for uh, especially the daily standup meeting form you know you just get to the presentation mode uh, and enable it and by getting to the presentation mode you will see that your form is right here and uh, your uh, views uh, right here you don't have any response yet so uh, the response page is not uh, there but let's uh, test it so um, I have submitted my form and here by refreshing the form, I will uh, see the responses and the people who have respond, uh, responded to my form. And you can add different options here. For example, I will uh, enable the show all responses as well as reports and charts. And I enable this and by getting to my form, I will see that the responses are visible here. Uh, you can have a vote here. People can vote, upvote or downvote for it. Uh, uh, by clicking on the view, you will see the full response. And uh, it's just a very cool way of showing your form data and the form, is, uh, for the form itself is in the first page. And this link is also shareable so, to the public. So you can share it with all your team and they can submit it without uh, having to sign up at Formlu. And yeah, this is how it works. And you will have your charts and et cetera here. This form doesn't have too many questions and there are all text boxes, so we don't have any diagram, but if you had any multi-select field or uh, choice field, uh, you would have more diagrams on what had been chosen on your form. This is a simple way to work with your team and let's say uh, you want to have a form in which your HR team submits your the profile of each of your team members. Let's create one. Let's say you want the HR to submit this form and keep a profile of all your employees. Uh, that can be, of course, uh, more fields as you wish, any field. And uh, let's say when, uh, when any employee is onboarded, they will submit this form to keep, an, keep a profile of each of the employees. Now we have submitted three employees and I want to use these, uh, this data in my form. So let's say in my daily standup meeting, uh, I'll edit the form. I don't want them to type in their name. I want them to choose from the form that uh, the employee, uh, the HR has submitted. So I have uh, my team names and I can do it. So it's done with a lookup field. You just drag it and drop it to your form. Yeah, the question would be like, who are you? And this is a lookup field. So it's looking up data from another form. So I should choose what form I want to look up uh, through. So it's the uh, all employees form. And what field uh, should be shown right here? It's the employee name. I don't want them their phone number right now. But if you 
wanted that it's up to you you can choose that so uh, i chose the employee name and, and now if i open this drop down you will see that those three employees that we submitted in that form are shown right here it's perfect and uh, by saving it and going to the form you will see that i don't have to type down my name um i can uh, if it's too many employees of course they can uh, search through it by typing their name and selecting it there's also an option for adding an employee, but if you want to turn it off, you just have to get back to here and turn this option off, enable users to add new records. And uh, yeah, it's that simple. I hope it was useful to you. And if you had any questions, just comment down below. And if you want to see any improvements in your Formula dashboard, just let me know by commenting it under this video or emailing us at info at I hope you enjoyed this video and bye for now.